All right, so I hope you just wanted to go over the um, fundamental difference between a binary tree and a binary search tree. And I mean, the key difference, the key ingredient between these two trees is the word search. Like, when would you want to use one over the other? Um, you know, if you just have a bunch of values stored inside of a tree, um, extracting a specific value to see if like, you know, the, the value 10 is inside that tree, it would be harder to find inside a binary tree as opposed to a binary search tree, just the way that it's structured. Um, so a binary tree is more general in terms of like, you can have uh, a tree, as long as it has at most two ch child nodes, you know, you can't have three or four. Um, this is more looking more like a graph um, than a tree. So uh, the, obviously because binary mean two, so you can have at most two. You can have one, like one node that has only one child, but at most you can have up to two. Now the difference between these two trees is ba depends on the values inside of them. So if you just throw numbers around, um, inserting values into the tree. Um, I, I did another video explaining how to insert values into a binary search tree. So if you want, you can go look at that video. Um, but uh, the term uh, binary tree itself, it just talks about, uh, it has to satisfy, at most it has two child nodes and the values inside of them don't matter as much. But in a binary search tree, the values do matter. So if we took these same numbers, four, two, one, three, five, six, um, and then we wanted to insert them into its own tree. So I'm just gonna do this quick. Uh, and then two is less than four, so we're on the left-hand side. One is less than two. Uh, so one is less than four, left-hand side. One is less than two, left-hand side. Three is less than four, but greater than two. And then five is greater than four. And then six is greater than four, six is greater than five. So this would be um, this one right here. Actually, I'll just, I'll just do this. Um, this one would be a binary search tree. And this one's just a binary tree. And the main fundamental difference you can see is that these abide by specific properties that are over here on the left. Sorry, I didn't explain them at first, but uh, the left child is always less than the parent. The right child value is always greater than the parent and there can't be any duplicates. So if you wanna see, it, does this uh, tree satisfy these three properties? Well, four is the root, so that's fine. But then we say, all right, so the left child of four is two. Is two a left child that is less than the parent? Is two less than four? Yes, and this pro these properties have to be uh, uh, the same throughout the whole sub all the subtrees as well. So is three less than four? Uh, so it's on the left. Yes, yeah, so it's on the left hand side of uh, four, but it's greater than two, so it should be on the right hand side of two. Um, again, like inserting uh, is pretty simple. So if you want to understand that, just go look at my other video. Um, and yeah, so these are the two main fundamental differences between a binary tree and a binary search tree.